Good morning. I am Taruna Rajura. I am presenting my first lecture on money and banking. So this is topic one, chapter fourteen, part one, general model of money creation. We move to the first slide. So these are the topics which we will discuss in this lecture: money stock, monetary base, complete money multiplier, complete deposit multiplier, complete currency multiplier, and complete money multiplier. Money stock. So, what is money stock? Basically, money stock is money is equals to currency plus deposits. Public hold currency as well as deposits. So, total uh, money stock is sum of currency and deposits. So, M is equals to C plus D. Public desires to hold currency in proportion to deposits. So, that people who decide to hold more money would increase their cash and deposits proportionally. So currency is equals to CD. CD is what currency to deposit ratio into deposits. Okay, so currency is equals to CD into D. So desired currency to deposit ratio is C by D. Uh, bank hold excess reserves, but they also uh, have a required reserves. So total reserves of bank equals to required reserves plus excess reserves. Okay, so we move to the next slide. Required reserves are assumed to be proportional to deposits, so that so that required reserves are equal to required reserve ratio times the deposit basically required reserves is equals to rr into d desired excess reserves are assumed to be proportional to deposit so that desired excess reserves are equal to desired excess reserve ratio times the deposit so rr is equals to required reserve ratio basically what is this required reserve ratio this is a cash reserve ratio okay so Similarly, in the same way, excess reserves are excess reserve ratio into deposits. When we substitute the values of RR and ER into this R, we'll get this equation eight. R equals to RR plus ED into D. What does it indicates? Equation eight indicates that when the total banking system holds a constant fraction of banking system deposits as required in excess reserves, total banking system reserves are proportional to deposits. Okay, now we move to the next slide. Monetary base. So, currency in the hands of the public plus commercial bank reserves is monetary base. It is also known as high-powered money. So, MB is equals to C plus R. Now we come to open market operations, purchase and sale. So, when we when basically we here is Federal Bank or RBI or Central Bank. They want to increase the money supply in the economy. They will purchase the security. And when we are purchasing something, say for example, Federal Bank is purchasing, they are purchasing the security and giving money to the people. So, purchasing security is infusion of money in the economy, and it will increase monetary base. In the same way, when you are selling security, you will decrease the money in the economy, and it will decrease the monetary base. Okay. Next slide. Complete deposit multiplier. We know that monetary base is equals to currency plus reserves. We substitute the value of equation two and eight into equation ten. Basically, what we are doing, we know what is currency and we know what is reserves. Okay. In the previous slide, this is your reserves. This is your currency. So we'll put these values into monetary base equation here. Will get monetary base equals to RR plus CD plus ED into D. Monetary base is nothing; it's a total banking system deposit multiplied by the sum of currency to deposit ratio, required reserve ratio, desired excess reserve ratio. When we solve this equation eleven for deposit, we'll get the formula of deposit. So, what is deposit equals to? Deposit equals to one upon my RR plus ED plus CD into MB. And we know what is MB. MB is monetary base. So it means that total amount of banking system deposit is actually a multiple of monetary base. Now we move to the next slide. So we'll do one question. Suppose Fed sets monetary base at three lakh fifty thousand. Required reserve ratio is twenty percent. ED is five percent. CD is twenty five percent. We have to calculate deposits. So with the help of the formula, we can calculate is D equals to One upon my RR plus CD plus ED into MB, and we'll put the value. We'll get the deposit seven lakh, and it is two times the monetary base. Okay, now we move to the next slide. Change in monetary base and deposit. So when there is an open market purchase, then there will be increase in monetary base and deposit. As I told you, when there is an open market purchase, 
फेडरल बैंक विल परचेज द सिक्योरिटीज एंड फॉर परचेजिंग दे विल गिव मनी टू द पीपल एंड देर विल बी इंक्रीज इन द मनी सप्लाई एंड इंक्रीज इन द मॉनिटरी बेस सो डेल्टा वेन वी हैव टू फाइंड द चेंज चेंज इन डिपॉजिट इक्वल्स टू वन अपॉन में आर आर प्लस ई डी प्लस सी डी इन टू एम बी चेंज इन मॉनिटरी बेस सो सपोज देर इज अ परचेज इन ओपन मार्केट ऑपरेशन ऑफ बीज वन लैक सो दिस इज अ चेंज इन मॉनिटरी बेस ओके डेल्टा एम बी इज गिवन एंड दीज आर द रेट्स विच आर गिवन सो विल फाइंड द डिपॉजिट चेंज इन डिपॉजिट अपॉन इक्वल्स टू वन अपॉन में पॉइंट टू पॉइंट जीरो फाइव प्लस पॉइंट टू फाइव इंटू वन लैख सो चेंज इन डिपॉजिट इक्वल्स टू टू इंटू वन लैख सो बेसिकली चेंज इन डिपॉजिट इक्वल्स टू रुपीज टू लैख कंप्लीट डिपॉजिट मल्टीप्लायर हेयर इज टू लैख टू सॉरी इट्स टू सो दस टोटल बैंकिंग सिस्टम डिपॉजिट्स बाई टू टाइम्स द मॉनिटरी बेस सो बेसिकली योर डिपॉजिट्स आर टू टाइम्स द मॉनिटरी बेस इफ यू If you see this formula, one upon me R R plus E D plus C D. This is the formula of deposit multiplier. When we put these uh, ratios in this formula, we'll get the value two. Okay, so this is deposit multiplier. That's why they are saying that uh, monetary policy, uh, monetary basis, two times. Okay. Now we move to the next slide. Complete currency multiplier. We know C is uh, C that is currency is equals to C D into D. We know what is C D. We know we can uh, solve it for D. D is equals to C upon me C D. We know what is deposits. The formula. This is equation two. And we, if we substitute the value of D in this equation twelve, we'll get currency. So here we have to find the currency. So currency is equals to C D upon me R R plus E D plus C D into M B. Now we move to the next slide. We'll do one question. Uh, if monetary base is rupees three lakh fifty thousand, required reserve ratio twenty percent, ED five, CD is twenty five percent. Find the currency. So we'll put the values and we'll get currency is equals to one lakh seventy five thousand. So some part of monetary base is kept as reserves. That is why currency is less than monetary base. So change in monetary base leads to change in currency. Uh, in the next slide, we'll uh, do this thing. Change in monetary base. So As I told you, change in monetary base. When there is a change in monetary base, it will lead to change in currency. So we move to this. Change in monetary base will lead to change in currency holdings. That is a fraction of the initial increase in the monetary base. So this is the formula of change in currency. Uh, delta C equals to C upon me R R plus E D plus C D into M B. Change in M B. So when there is open market purchase, there is an increase. So federal Bank have purchased the securities of rupees one lakh. These are the ratios. How much is the change in currency? So we'll put the values in this figure, this formula, and we'll get the answer. So currency increase is equals to rupees fifty thousand. Okay. Now we move to the next complete money multiplier. See, we know what is money. Money is currency plus deposits. So we know what is currency. We know what is deposit. So when we put these value currency and deposit in this formula M, we get money. Money is equals to one plus C D upon me R R plus C D plus E D into M B. When we have to find the changes of money, delta M is equals to one plus C D upon me R R plus C D plus E D. Into MB. So change in money stock results from change in monetary base. When there is a change in monetary base, there will be a change in money stock, change in currency, change in deposits. So we move to the next slide. Uh, in the previous slides, uh, we have found the currency and deposit. Now we find the money stock with the same question. Okay. So three lakh fifty thousand is the monetary base. RR is twenty percent, CD is twenty five percent, and ED is five percent. So we can calculate money stock. We'll put the values and we'll get the money stock equals to eight lakh seventy five thousand. Here you can notice that I also find the uh, money supply with the help of this formula M equals to C plus D. With this question, we have find the in the previous slide. I'll show you. In the beginning, this is your deposits. Two uh, ratios are same. We have this monetary base. We find the seven lakh is the deposits. We find the currency. Currency is one lakh seventy five thousand. So when we are finding the money stock, we have find the money stock with the formula. But if we substitute currency plus deposit in this formula, we can also get the same result. Okay. Uh, we will also get the same money stock. Okay. Now we move to the 
नेक्स्ट चेंज इन मनी स्टॉक वेन फेडरल फेड चेंजेस मॉनिटरी पॉलिसी मॉनिटरी बेस देन देर विल बी अ चेंज इन अमाउंट ऑफ करेंसी डिपॉजिट एंड मनी स्टॉक सो दिस इज द फॉर्मूला फॉर चेंज इन मनी एंड इफ देर इज अ ओपन मार्केट परचेज देर विल बी इंक्रीज इन मॉनिटरी बेस सो you can put these value in this formula and we'll get 250000 so here money multiplier is what so 1 plus cd upon me rr plus ed plus cd is nothing but uh it is the formula of money multiplied okay 2.5 so delta m change in money is equals to delta c change in currency plus change in deposits now we move to the next slide so uh, in the previous slides we are doing the question of uh, purchase open market purchase when there is a uh, but what will happen when there is a open market sales as i told you in the uh, previous slides that when there is a open market sales there will be a decrease in money supply or money stock okay and there uh, when there is a decrease in money supply there will be a, a decrease in deposit decrease in currency okay so there is a open market sale there is a decrease in monetary base basically this open market sale is a money uh, will affect the monetary base this is delta mb and these are the ratio you have to find currency multiplier deposits deposit multiplier or money multiplier so currency multiplier c upon me rr plus cd plus ed we will put the values of these ratios so you will get the currency multiplier we can also find the change in currency With the help of formula, delta C is equals to C D upon me R R plus C D plus E D into M B. We have find this formula in the previous slide, and we'll get minus sixty two thousand five hundred. This is a decrease in currency, so currency will decrease by. This is the sales, so currency will decrease by sixty two thousand five hundred. Now we move to the next slide. Change in money stock. M equals to one plus C D upon me R R. Plus E D plus C D, so what is uh, money? Money multiplier here is three point one two five. We put the values, and we'll get this. Uh, we have to find the change. So change in money, we'll put the formula, and we'll get it. So change is minus three one two five zero zero. So this is the decrease in money. Okay, now we. Move to the next slide. This is deposit multiplier. So we know the formula of deposit multiplier. One upon me R R plus C D plus E D. So two point five is your deposit multiplier, and you can also find the change in deposits. So minus two lakh fifty thousand. Okay. So uh, with this uh, question, uh, in this question we'll find uh, changes in uh, currency. deposits and change in money stock right now uh we'll move we'll do quick revision for this session okay so basically what we do today we did deposit multiplier change in money stock money multiplier questions on currency multiplier okay change in money stock money stock what uh what is money stock basically it's currency plus deposits okay what uh, how we will change the currency what will be the effect of uh, monetary base on currency questions on finding the currency of the economy complete currency multiplier formula that is cd upon me rr plus ed plus cd change in monetary base and change in deposits questions on deposit complete deposit multiplier monetary base monetary base is basically c c plus r okay open market purchases required reserve ratios and money stock so we we will meet in the next session thank you